Hello YouTube and welcome back to my subscribers. Today we're going to talk about whether you can use a 15 amp outlet on a circuit that is uh, powered by a 20 amp breaker in your panel. And the topics or the, the subset of, of uh, points we're going to get through are what you'll find in most homes, the code, the wiring, types of appliances or things that you're, you may be plugging into these outlets and why that makes a difference and also the safety. So the first thing we're going to talk about was what you'll find in most homes and in most homes you're going to find a 20 amp breaker in, at most of that's controlling most of your circuits for the most part. Okay, and um, you're also going to find that you've got 12 gauge wire coming from that breaker that's running through, that's carrying the circuit, the load of the circuit. And uh, you're gonna have a mix, usually of 15 and 20 amp uh, receptacles. You'll find that the majority of them may be 15, okay? So um, that's, the that's the first thing you're gonna find in most homes, and you can check your house. And if you found something different, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, the other thing with regards to the code we're going to refer to the NEC code 210.21B, and that talks about receptacles uh, and, the, and the types and, and the uh, load and everything else rela regarding the uh, receptacles. So if you have a 20 amp breaker, like we have here in, for most of the, uh, uh, the circuits, and you have just one, and it powers just one outlet, Okay, we're going to not talk about receptacles, we're going to talk about outlets, because receptacles also mean switches and other, other things. So if it's powering just one outlet and the breaker's 20 amp, then that one outlet needs to be 20 amp. If the circuit has a few outlets or more than one outlet in the circuit, then you can have a mix of 15 and or, or 20 amp um, receptacles or outlets. You do not have to have any 20 amp outlet on the circuit if you have at least two outlets. You, they both, if you have two outlets only, they both can be 15. If you have five outlets, all five can be 15. You do not need a 20, okay? So um, now we're going to go on to the wiring and then we're going to get back to um, when you may or may not use a, uh, a 15 or a 20 amp uh, receptacle or outlet. So the, the wiring, we're assuming that it's gonna be 12 gauge wire. You want it to be 12 gauge wire when you're powering an outlet because the 12 gauge wire is uh, better able to handle the load of the power draw that's gonna go through into to whatever it is that you're plugging in. So if you're, especially if you're plugging in, let's say a space heater, it's gonna draw a lot of power. You don't want the wires to get too hot because that could be dangerous, right? Um, but uh, 12 amp is what you hope you're using for electrical outlets and 14 amp really only if you've got a circuit that powers just lights. So in new homes, what you'll find is, is that uh, they're doing the right thing by splitting up a breaker. Let's say you've got a bedroom. The breaker is going to have uh, an, an, a bedroom, right? You're gonna have a, a breaker for the outlets and a breaker for the lights dedicated for that room. And so the lights could be on 15, it's fine. LED lights, even if they're incandescent, it's not gonna draw that much. You could definitely just use a, a 15 amp uh, breaker and only 14 gauge wire. And it's very easy hardly any power going through that 14 gauge wire and it's gonna save the contractor or electrician or you, if you're wiring a new cir circuit, it's gonna save everybody money. Okay, um, so that's, that's the wiring. Now let's talk about the things you could be plugging in and where you may or may not wanna use a, a uh, 20 amp breaker, okay? I mean 20 amp bus electrical outlet. But before we get to that, I'm gonna show you the difference. So here, you have a 15 amp outlet, and here's a, here's a 20. This one happens to be GFCI. It's the only 20 that I happen to have here at the house. But the difference is, as you see that slot that goes this way, 
that's on the neutral side in the event that there are some plugs, there are some devices, usually tools, that draw more power and they're going to say, hey, if you're going to use this thing, you better plug it into a uh, 20 amp circuit because that's the kind of draw we have. And so the, the plug will have a sideways slit here for that would fit a uh, 20 amp uh, outlet. So all the 20 amp outlets will have that, okay? You don't need it, you likely don't need it, and I'm gonna get into that in a second. So these, these 15 amp outlets here, these 15 amp outlets are able to handle the load even that's coming from a uh, 20 amp circuit or circuit breaker okay and to make sure if you're concerned I would just get a commercial 15 amp that's this one on this side In inside it's more heavy duty look at the back here's the commercial okay it is going to be built better and if you if you looked at the inside of a 20 amp outlet versus a 15 amp that's commercial it's going to be virtually the same. So you're okay using 15 uh, on, in that situation. Even if you're running a hair dryer in the bathroom, even if you are using a curling iron in the bathroom, and what a lot of people do is plug in a space heater in the winter because maybe they're renting somewhere or their home doesn't have the best heat in a particular room, you've got some cold spots, that could happen, but what's the other thing that's important there is to say, okay, understand the circuit and know that you're plugging in a space heater using more than 1500 watts probably, and um, what else is plugged in on that circuit? So again, older homes may have a lot of outlets chained together on one circuit, and if it runs through two bedrooms and now two of you have a, a space heater on, you might find that A, it could be tripping the breaker, and B, worse, you're drawing so much power that those wires are heating up, okay? So now let's talk about safety. So safety, yes, it's about matching the outlets to the breaker, making sure that you've got the proper gauge wire, you want a 12 gauge wire, and that you're paying attention to what you're plugging in, but it's also making sure that everything's wired properly, that when you wire the receptacle or the outlet, you're doing it in a way that's safe. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna to link to my video about how to wire an electrical outlet. But, so I'm not gonna go through all the steps here in this video, but the bottom line is, is if you don't wire it properly at the outlet or even in the wire nuts that are inside of, where you're, if you've got a jumper coming off of, of um, one of the of the uh, the line coming in if you don't if it's not twisted properly in the wire nuts and it's not wired properly to the outlet itself that in itself could could create a safety hazard regardless as to what amperage your your um, circuit breaker is and regardless as to how many amps the uh, outlet is rated for okay so I hope I hope this helped you. Definitely uh, subscribe to the channel if you feel like it is helpful. Give me that like. It would help the channel as well. And uh, definitely binge watch also some of my other electrical and wiring videos. I have so many of them that I know that you're going to find some of them helpful. Thanks for watching everyone and I do hope you have a great day.